Hello everyone, we will continue the topic log object and in the previous video, we passed the log mode n and we saw the behavior. Yes, we are able to achieve our requirement. Now, many times people ask, we do not have multiple users. How we can learn this particular topic? No problem. See, what you can do in that case, suppose. I or I do not have multiple users. I'm closing this session. So I have the single user. So what you can do in this case, go for one session, run. Give the order number and give the payment mode, suppose D. Lock there itself. Now suppose I'm locking. So I lock this order number one. In this particular session, I logged this order number one. Size sub R says what? Zero. And I'm changing the payment mode of order number one into this particular session. How I can, how I can also change the details of order number one into another session? It's not possible at all. Suppose I'm the same user. In one session, I'm passing T. In another session, I am passing N. So if there is no locking at that point of time, database will confuse. So in this session, I am changing. So how I can change in other session also? If you do not have another user with the help of same user also, you can check the behavior. You can learn this particular topic. Suppose if I will go to another session, same user ID is there. I logged order number one. So if I will show you SM12. Now you can see we have a logged entry in SM12 for order number one. Now I'm going to another session. Suppose I will go to another session. I will put a breakpoint so that we can understand fully. Breakpoint is there. Now, same order number I will go. Same order number. Suppose I am going for payment mode N. Suppose I am executing. Now, order number 1 is already logged by me in one session. So, in another session also, it is not possible. Now, order number one, whenever I will do F6, have you seen? We are getting the size of our C1. So if you do not have multiple users, no problem. You can check the behavior is same to same login ID also, yes. Now we will go for next further understanding. Now in terms of log object, what people will do simply? They will firstly run the program. They will run the program. Just my question to you. You run the program. When you run the program, it means NQ also happened. DQ also happened. It means whatever you log, it's unlocked. Now people are saying, yes, I run the program, but I'm not getting the error in other session. You logged and you unlocked. And we have single order number, so it will take just fractions, just very little second to update. So it's unlocked, yes. So how you will get the error in other session? That's why I stopped. I stopped the system in the debugging mode and I showed the behavior, yes. Just think, we have project. In the project, every day we are changing the payment mode of billion trillions of order number yes at that time locking will play a vital role vital role because that program will run 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 for one hour two hours at that point of time at that time locking unlocking locking unlocking should be there should be there as of now we have single order number so if you run the program simply without stopping, so how you will not be able to check the behavior because you logged and unlocked simply. And anyways, when program ends, 
things will automatically unlock us at that point of time. So just stop in that debugging mode and then learn the behavior. Yes. Now we will proceed further. And yes, this proceeding is very important. Now what we will do? I will come out. Now I will go for one requirement and we will achieve that requirement. Suppose I will go to VA02. What is VA02? Yes, VA02 is the transaction code to change the sales order. I am passing order number one. I am the first user who is changing the order number one. If I will press enter, it is successfully logged by me. Suppose now I will log in through different user. I will log in through different user. Now another user who is changing the same to same sales order number. Suppose that user is passing one and pressing enter. Have you seen what the message is coming? Sales document one is logged by R Mehta. Have you seen? It is showing the username also who is working on that particular order number. And this is real project. If someone is already working on something, someone is already logged and another user is trying to do that. So another user should get a message in such a way that who is working on that particular thing. So username should be there, should be there. As of now, whatever the message we gave, that message is simply what the order number is already locked. But it, the message should be what the order number is logged by this particular user. So this is our requirement. Now, if I will go for the understanding in the debugging mode, I will close the unnecessary sessions. Now, suppose I will just run this program. I'm going for order number one and I'm passing payment mode and I'm locking this order number one. Order number one is successfully locked. I'm not going for different user. In another session, I will try to change the same to same order number. I'm going for same to same order number. Now, whenever in another session also, I will try to change the same to same order number. Sai Sabarsi is one. And I got a message. The order number is already locked. Ideally, what should be the message? The order number one is already logged by R Mehta. This is our requirement. Now, how to do that? Simply, I will again run and show you in the deeper in how we will pass the username. I will go for order number one. Payment mode N. Order number one is already locked. I'll go to desktop three. I will do F6. Now we got the error message. When we got the error message, it means this order number is already logged by someone. Who has logged that order number? We have a system variable. What is the system variable? Psi MSG V1. In the previous video, we covered when something starts with SY, it means it is a SAP system variable. 
Now, if I'm pressing enter, what is this system variable value R Mehta? So it is giving us the user who is locking this particular order number. So we will use this particular variable to display the user name. And this part we will continue in the next video. So what is the summary of the video? The first point we covered, yes, if you have a single user ID, it does not mean that you cannot check the behavior of locking. You can check the behavior of locking. Just go to multiple sessions and try to change the same data. Second thing, yes, because it just do not go by the way that you run the program and you are saying you are not getting the error message in another session. Because once you run the session, DQ executed it. So it's unlocked. So you will not get the error message here. Just stop in that debugging and learn the process. Then the third, what we understood or what the requirement we take, what is the real project? Whenever something is logged, we should get uh, the username also in the message that this particular user has logged this particular data. So in that case, we saw in the debugging mode that this system variable is giving us the username who has logged the data. In the next video, we will pass the username in the message. That part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.